Coach, was there a moment in the game when you suddenly thought about commissioners cup all over again and made no issue and beat you in your first game? Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I actually turned to Coach Richard and I said, uh, this, this is beginning to look like, well, it was like I think it was like uh, towards the end of the third quarter. And I turned to Coach Richard and I said, this is starting to look like getting that last, last conference game all over again. But, uh, you know, we picked ourselves up off the, you know, and pick, picked our energy up. And we had a couple of big threes. I think we had a back-to-back -back three and then they hit a three. But we had a back-to-back -back threes and I thought that really lifted us up and gave us our spirit back. Coach, um, Coach Sheamus quoted the same prior to the season that people take a minute up. Mid-agro, yes. <laughs> Your comment on that. Well, you know, I mean, the thing about Yang's teams, they're ready to play all the time. They're ready to come out and play. Um, doesn't matter who the opponent is, they're going to come out and bust you as best that they can. And they did a really good job of that. We jumped on them really early in the game, and I thought, oh, man, we might, we might you know, have a lapper here. But then I looked across the court and saw Yang Gao, and I said, ah, no way. You know, Yang's teams are going to come back at you and come back at you all the time. So, um, you know, we're just happy to get through this one. Um, we, go Monday, we go Sunday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. Uh, and, and so, and all the three, I guess all the three teams we're going to be playing are all going to have new imports. Um, so, you know, this one was really important to get. We've got to get the ones we can get because – our schedule is so compressed. It's almost like playing a best of seven right now. We're playing every every play day. And uh, um, good news is we're experienced in playing seven game series, so hopefully we'll, we'll do better. But we can't ping pong it back and forth like we did the Dragons. We gotta follow it up on, on, uh, on Wednesday against a team that's playing extremely well in uh, NLEX. And I'm, I'm, I'm real happy for Frankie. Um, and it scares the heck out of me because we lost to Frankie before. I always seem to lose to my ex-players. Frankie, Jojo, um, you know, John John. I got a lot of ex-players suddenly in the league and I'm, I'm scares the heck out of me. Are you a bit, are you a bit relieved that uh, you won't be facing Lucy once in the next week? Uh, well, actually, it's kind of looking forward to it. You know, it's like, like when, when, when Powell came in and started playing for uh, the Dragons, we were kind of looking forward to playing. Everybody wanted, why didn't Powell play? And, and so when Powell was playing, we were kind of looking forward to it to see how we could match up. And, you know, it's, it's challenging to go against those guys. And I think our team is, is actually looking for challenges, you know. I mean, uh, uh, so to go out there and, and, and go against this, uh, uh, Jonathan Simmons, who's is, been playing, I mean, uh, he looks like uh, young Justin reincarnated almost. Uh, so it would have been real fun to go against him. But I understand that Selden is an absolute stud. I have friends in, uh, in the States that, that have watched him play, and they think he is you know, going to be a super, super important. So I hope they may not lose too much with this kid Selden coming in. He's really good. Played three or four years in the NBA.